Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Rat here from Ratko Tarot, and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising monthly tarot reading for October 2018. And while I'm doing shuffling, first thing I want to remind you that this is a general reading for the Aries star sign. This is not your personal reading. Therefore, I will explain you the meanings of the cards in uh, their representative positions as well as their synergy but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situations throughout the month and uh, if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and to do so please check out my website which is written down below in the description of this video there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings on top of that uh, in the website you are going to find as well an extensive reading of the month as this is a general one the free one is general one the um the extensive reading will cost just a dollar 49 and there we are going to look at more deeply into career and into a, a relationship life of areas for the duration of the month so that being said this is going to be a five card spread and uh, let me cut the cards here and the first card will be about Aries is entering into the month so what will be the very first thing that happens to you or rather like uh, how you embark the month all right where you are right now this is a, a little bit of a complex situation uh, position excuse me then the next card will be uh, about what is the best course of action what should you what you should do next as uh, after you cope with that uh, the very first impression of the month the third card will be about the obstacles what kind of an obstacles the month is going to present to you Aries is. the fourth card is going to be uh, the uh, resources that you can manage the resources that you can use uh, and the last one is going to refer to the final outcome what will be the result of all that so that being said let's see what you got here as a this card also could be taken as a general topic of the month or throughout the month now the two of pentacles points that as soon as the month starts there will be a, a changes happening here and there which are going to very much demand your uh, attention and you may kind of feel that you are torn apart in between for example your career it be in between for example uh, your career and your relationship excuse me or it could be in between couple of projects into your career or should you searching for a job this card could express that you will be torn apart in between two jobs you know and you have to consider every single uh, every single one of these jobs what will be the pros and the cons because the two of pentacles although it call it causes you to make certain choices those cho those choices are rather very petite and minor because uh, um, in the grand scheme of things this card points that you should be adaptable you should be uh, rather like playful as well with your environment and 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 with your undertakings either and in generally this card points that throughout the month you should not go forward with any specific plan and routine but rather you know take advantage of whatever the universe or the faith depends what you prefer or the divine you know depends on what you believe in throws at you and asks you to attend to so this is going to be for you Aries a month of surprises and uh, I will not be surprised if I see a, a very huge potential here into the means or into the resources that you can use for the month because the two of pentacles usually suggest a, a, a rich abundance of resources should one be capable to utilize them correctly and then the next card here will expresses up the best possible course of action so we see a little bit of an anarchy here as a synergy in between these couple of cards first you will have um a, a small changes which you have to adapt to or rather as the appearance of the devil here you should not be the one who adapts to the changes but the devil points us that you can adapt the change uh the changes 
happening around you according to your ends according to your means and according to your uh, yearnings as well now the devil card here asks you to be a little bit more selfish and i know that many people criticize me that i am encouraging people to be selfish you know and uh, or so on and so on but uh, the, the devil card uh, selfish i'm using the word uh, this word for the lack of better terms let me explain you what i'm trying to say here no matter how much one individual tries to please everybody around him one is never capable of all right and the devil card in these cases asks you to this time for a change please yourself before you please others and this isn't selfishness really because because people could look at it as a self-preservation let's say it that way so the devil card here uh, in this particular reading asks you to really realize how much potential you do have uh, with all those small changes happening around you Aries and of course those uh, this potential will not please everybody around you but that doesn't mean that you should uh, uh, kind of like um, you know drop the idea of using it lightly even if this is not uh, of the liking of your husband is not of the liking of of of, of your co-worker friends etc etc after all it what matters at the end is are you happy and are you fulfilled emotionally and if you follow this kind that kind of regime i do believe that at the end you will be able to feed your soul with whatever your soul is lacking at this very moment the next card here is going to represent the obstacles that you should uh, cope with and that will be the full card so there will be a, a little bit of a um, a boundary here that should not be crossed so we talked about being carefree we talked about being spontaneous we talked about you know being adaptable but that should not reach an extent where one becomes careless where one becomes ignorant to responsibility you know uh, one becomes um, with a sense of being uh, left without any justice what i'm trying to say here is that the full card represents that you can uh, very well lose yourself into the um, into the routine and into the undertakings here and soon after you know those changes start being adapted to your means and to your ends you may become rather irrational irresponsible and um, you know immature as well at least in the eyes of others because the full card points that one copes with everything around them with ease and that is going to be the challenge here guys the ease doesn't mean irresponsibility and it doesn't mean um the care carefree behavior does not mean ir irresponsibility and it does not mean lack uh, of a sense of emergency here the full card uh, in that particular case represents uh, the lack of a new direction which is going to be rather a positive thing because you do have something that you need to feed your soul with and it is not in the uh, in the spectrum of the newness that may await you out there but it is in the spectrum of what you already possess around you and it is start to change a little bit it starts to shift it is how you will be able to find whatever your soul needs to be fed with the next card points the means and as i said a lot of abundance i would have not be surprised if we see a lot of abundance in the means and the uh, and the resources that you can use and i was correct so the empress card it's prime keyword is abundance it's comfort it's prime keywords is beauty as well and it's uh, it it prime keyword is also riches and pregnancy in some cases but in this particular case the empress points that you can really utilize you know the uh, the time that you will have so as we spoke about adaptability here that doesn't mean that the uh, uh, that the flow of events is going to be rather crazy for you Aries it's just on the contrary here with the Empress it does look like that the time is going to be the resource that you can really capitalize on and utilize so whenever you can uh, whenever you want you have to make a choice regardless is that choice is about your career regardless is that choice about your relationship projects or a friendship the empress here points that you will have the time to detach yourself from the um from the situation itself and you know um try to analyze every single version version of the decision that you are about to make 
all right and at the end make them the decision which is most mature so at the end with the we do see here that should you take your time you will never be able to cross the line in between being playful and carefree and in between being responsible uh, irresponsible here the Empress also points that you can truly capitalize upon the environment that you are feeling yourself most comfortable at. Either career, either relationship, maybe both. It does look like that whenever you kind of um, feel yourself at home, it is the environment which is going to present you with a, a shelter. And the last card here shows the final outcome. We do have the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is pointing us a couple of things. First of all, the hierarchy is going to be maintained, which means that no one will be able to cr trespass you or to cross your path and knock you off balance of the place that you are finding yourself right now. So at the end of the day, should you have problems with your marriage for a third party, caused by a third party, it doesn't look like that the third party is going to uh, succeed this is just an, an example here everything will return back to its natural normal flow of events the six of pentacles also points that due you know the shifting here of these small adaptations and changes that are happening in your life throughout the month you will find the time to resolve some old issues some old predicaments that were carrying on from a quite a while maybe from an year ago maybe from a couple of months ago and um, this month will be really where uh, a month where you kind of settle the score with uh, with people which you know you do have troubles with uh, for a quite a while or with the situation to do so the very least the six of pentacles it's a card pointing from a, a certain initial step step of growth and if we're talking about creative expression at the end of the day as soon as you're finished here with making your decisions feeding your soul and adapting yourself to the changes happening in this uh, particular month as well you will have the opportunity to grow from there so that being said Aries says this was your monthly tarot reading for October 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this is a general reading for the Aries star sign this is not your personal reading guys and um, I explained you the cards I explained you uh, their synergy here but it forced you to make a sense of them uh, throughout the month depending on what kind of a uh, situations you have to cope with now if you do want me to do that for you then that is a subject of a personal reading and for the personal readings please check out my website which is written down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and don't forget there will be as well extensive uh, version uh, of these readings which will focus mainly upon career and relationship not just a general reading and uh, these um, videos cost dollar 49 and can be both again uh, from my website that is again listed down below in the description of this video so that being said this was for uh, your reading Aries and we're going to see each other around until then bye